Hello guys and welcome to Vlogmas day 19. I'm behind on Vlogmas right now so I'm getting confused by the days. Um, so today's Saturday and today is my family's like Christmas Eve pretty much celebration that we usually do. So I'm actually getting off the vlog to a late start only because I've been pretty just like busy today. You know, I was getting ready and then we just went to um, church. So I tried to actually film um right before we left for church and stuff but i didn't have a memory card on my camera so that was unfortunate anyway it doesn't really matter because like everything that's basically gonna happen like is hasn't really started yet i love my little tree in the background i'm just sitting here with squirt he's being such a good little boy we just went out on a walk and it's crazy he can jump up onto my bed here without using anything he literally just flies up and it's i don't know how he does it but i don't like that he jumps he keeps jumping on and off my bed and i don't like that he does that because i don't think it's good it's good for him um to be doing that but like he won't stop that's just like he's a crazy little spaz and you can't like he just like is up and then he's down he's up and he's down i'm gonna show you guys what i wore to um church so i wore my velvet pants that I just love these. They're so comfy. I wore a little ankle boot and then I wore this shirt which is from uh, Wildflower and Element Eden and I love this shirt. It's a lazy shirt and it was funny because I didn't know this but Megan was like, oh my god, I wore that last like last Christmas Eve or whatever. So yeah, I, don't, I actually like feel like it's like Christmas Eve even though I know it's not for five days. I just have a little bun in. My hair is like, I didn't even end up doing my hair after the party I went to last night. I just like put some dry shampoo in, put this part in a bun because I was so rushed. The party I went to last night was really, really fun, but I'm glad I didn't bring my camera because um, it was just like a little bit like, I had to leave my things at one point and I don't, I would not have wanted to leave my camera. So um, yeah, and also it just wasn't the environment that I would vlog in honestly, but it was really fun. It was just like a house party in West Atlanta and I really didn't think I knew anyone that was going. My friend, well, I went with two of my friends, but my friend Layla ended up knowing this guy that was DJing the party and he was playing really, really, really sick music. He was playing like excision and like a little bass and actor and then he was playing some rap and stuff. So um it's funny because like we kept running into people at the party who are also going um i'm going to base nectar on new year's eve as i i think i've told you guys and that's like a thing that i've done this is my third year going it's gonna be like a tradition that i go every single year that like it happens um but it's funny because we kept like running into all these people that we met at the party that why was that so loud i'm sorry that we're also going to be like, are you going to Nectar New Year's Eve? And I was just like, yeah, see you there. Like, I just, it made me so happy. I had a fun night. I got home super late. I got home at 7 a.m. And then I just slept all day, which is another reason the vlog is getting off to a night start, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so I am basically gonna go and wrap um, my family presents right now that I have, because I haven't done that. And then we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna open presents. So I just finished up my wrapping woohoo yes yeah, square we finished i guess sweatshirt over what i was wearing and i look really funny now but i was cold so it's pretty freezing in this room in my house i'm gonna take my presents downstairs see what's going on down in the kitchen let's check it out i actually have Woo! time oh for dinner God, all right first i'll show you guys the table because i said it <laughs> what i said it yeah, i'm not lying i'll give you a little more lighting Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We really go all out with our table. It's beautiful. My mom likes to decorate it a ton. Would you like to give the tour of the table? Yeah, well, here we have some plates on thank the table. Thank you, yeah. Um, and they're complemented by these, by these glasses right here. And then we're gonna slowly a tra nice transition into these. Glass it's really the there. staple item of the entire dinner. The little mitt and silverware holder, I mean, except we only this. have forks in there. When I get this here Santa, you got a dinner fork. <laughs> you got a salad fork. Lucky me. Woohoo! I think my favorite might be the little Santa and Miss Claus shakers. Or maybe, or maybe these guys. It's pretty well detailed. They're so cute. Get it in, get it in They're there. so cute. I don't know why it's not focusing. You can kind of see it. There you go. Sorry, guys. Let's check out the menu items we have some is it was this grilled this was grilled right yeah, that's grilled. Mm, got some grilled asparagus grilled lots of grilled asparagus on the grill on the okay you guys know this is like the signature if you've been watching vlogs for a while you know this is a signature hughes christmas dish the twice baked potato 
My mom Here's is a professional. Thing. Here's my slab of meat. This is literally for non, only for, for non-vegetarian. Only for college, <laughs> like a whole pork tenderloin for himself. And then uh, we have I'm a so salad hungry. with quinoa, some seeds, some broccoli, some arugula for dessert. Oh, and mom, we're not doing an icing. <laughs> or like a, we're doing something. It takes like two seconds. Okay, we're doing something. I'll do it. We're, ha we're doing, oh yeah, flourless chocolate cake. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. Oh, this looks money. Get some of this juice. For some That's of these. money. Oh, 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 some of these juice for, for some, all of you. some of these meat eaters. For all of these fellow meat eaters. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Um, we have, oh, is the bread in here? Oh my gosh, yes. I asked my mom, I requested my mom make a nice loaf. Well, I just requested a loaf and my mom decided to make it. Which, yeah, tell them what I did for the, for this sacrifice here. I requested the, the home baked bread. So I went out in the oh backyard God, it smells so good. and I, I harvested the wheat. How long did that take? You know, um, hours. It takes hours, and then and then you have to actually then. I have a special rolling pin that grinds the grain. Okay. So I basically I make my own flour. Wait, is this all serious? No. Okay. <laughs> I was like at first I knew it wasn't, and then I thought you were, were getting serious for a minute, and I was just like, okay. Wait, there's some. Isn't there something else, or am I crazy? No, there's not. This is it. Scallops. Scallops. For my dad, his favorite. Woo. Woo. We're gonna eat, let's eat. Okay, so we finished dinner and my mom and I just, um, well, my mom made the cake, but um, we just chefed up the, she's laughing cause guys, look, I accidentally just did this to the cake. My mom's laughing at me. But if you like put it like that, come on, you can't really tell. No one in my family will. Someone else will think they did it, hopefully. Okay, so anyway, my mom and I just made the peppermint homemade whipped cream. That's gonna, you do a dollop on your um, flourless chocolate cake. And then we have some peppermint shavings, peppermint stick bits, and then some chocolate chips that we just crushed up a little. Guys, literally look at that. I keep, oh my God. Mom, let's show the viewers how you made this. Cacao! 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 Can't believe you watch Portlandia. Thank God my mom watches Portlandia. She has some cacao apparently. There's, wait, say it. Cacao. <laughs> oh my God, we need like a gif of that. Cacao. Cacao, if you've seen the episode, you'll understand. Okay, so at last, how do we made this, which is the best part, is one pint, right, of heavy whipping cream. That was a pint, I think. And then, a teaspoon. Peppermint extract. Yep, you gotta have that, people, if you're doing the candy cane theme. Look at this, Dad, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and then lastly, half of a cup confectioner's sugar. This might be the thumbnail, honestly. This might be part of the thumbnail, because that's just gorgeous. I mean, just call us Barefoot Contessa. Just call us Giada. Just call her Giada. Giada Hughes. Giada Hughes, ladies and gentlemen. Snaps for Giada. I was gonna clap for you, but I only have one hand, so. Can you clap for Giada? Thank you, thank you. Yep, thank you, Giada. How is it going? Hi, how is it going? Tika gets really tired really early because she's a grandma now. Tika. What are you thinking? I feel like she's always worried about something. Like she looks pretty sad right now. One of her look, she's crying. Tika, Tika, why are you crying? Okay, so we are on to gifts now. We just opened our stockings. Got some candy. I got an Ocean Zen coloring book from my mom. Mom, where did you get this? Mom, where did you get my Zen coloring book? She got twenty dollars in her stocking. Mom, what are you gonna best, buy? Best Christmas ever. Um, treat yourself. I'm gonna treat myself. <laughs> treat Three yourself. 2011. <laughs> Massages. Treat yourself. Fine leather goods. I don't know where she got this, but I'm excited about it. Look at it. 
didn't even see that. And so happy I'm Christmas. I'm gonna freaking use this on the plane to St. Kitts. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is my first gift of Christmas. Well, Megan just opened that first actual gift of Christmas from I'm me. So you can that see that on her vlog. Your first gift. This is from Santa to me. To me from Santa. Oh, he even went festive with the box here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's something a little fragile. Fraggle. We both corrected you in the wrong way. <laughs> Leaves it in that. Oh, it's bubble wrap. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Beautiful. Do you know who it is? Ganesha. Ganesha? Ganesh, sorry, I was wrong. A geisha girl is very different. Yeah, Ganesha. Ganesha. Ganesh. Well, do you saw another one with like way. The, uh, <laughs> it can be either. <laughs> oh, it's in a lotus flower. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. It's a like gift of meaning. And Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. So, kind of like what we were talking about. It's beautiful. This is going to look so good on one of my say, shelves. My say maybe you're walking to the kitchen and there's some sort of chair in the way. <laughs> So what that will he will remove that it. Will just get that right out of there. <laughs> so what do you want? Your camera's on low battery. No. Hey, humble. Oh, this is my this camera. Is supposed to be mama oh, oh crap! Don't hey. stop. Please don't stop this, this party. This is great. It's 12 a.m. in the Hughes household. I'm not even good at it. Like I'm. Trying. I don't even know how to do it. Come on, mom. You can do this. Watch me whip. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Watch me whip whip. Watch me nay nay. <laughs> and ladies, five, six, five, six, seven. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Watch me whip, whip, <laughs> No, thumbs up for that. Mom, tell them to, mom, tell them to thumbs up for you. Oh, she gave herself a so-so thumb. What's up, folks? It's currently five in the morning. Why is it five in the morning? So, I just finished watching... Catching up on Megan's vlogs because I watch all of the vlogs and um, yeah, that was great And Squirtle is under I love when he, he I think it's when he gets cold. He gets like under my covers and he just like Passes out asleep like next to my legs or something. It's so cute. Today was a great day by the way great day with the fam such fantastic times I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, my camera was on low battery during the whole time we were opening gifts, so I really didn't end up filming that much. Um, I can do like a little Christmas haul for you guys. Like, I'm not gonna film like an actual Christmas haul this year because like I, I didn't get like I got an Electric Forest ticket, um, so I don't have like many physical gifts. Um, I have like gift cards and like things like that. I was gonna tell you guys this in the vlog. Well, I was gonna like, I was just really excited about it because I found out on Tuesday that I got an Electric Forest ticket for Christmas because basically like that's when tickets went on sale to the general public and that's when I found out I was going but then I for some reason didn't talk about it until right now. So if you're going to the forest or you've been, leave me a comment down below. I would love to read it. Literally, if I could only go to one festival next year, it would be Electric Forest. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it. I'm just really excited about it. After we opened presents and stuff, me, Colin, and Megan just went on, like, a drive. And, um, we were just hanging out. And then I was talking to my brother after that. And we had, like, we had a pretty, like, we had, like, a deep conversation. Like, I don't know. I feel like me and him don't get the chance to, like, talk individually a lot. Which might sound weird, but like my brother like lives in Georgia and I never ever get to see him. Um, 
even like half the time when i'm here like he's not here you know what i mean but now that he graduated college like hopefully i'll be able to see him more because he's not like just stuck like somewhere you know what i mean like for the whole year i was talking to my brother about my current crush situation that i haven't told you guys about because it's not really like important to your life but i've been asking a lot of people's opinions on um on me like having a <laughs> not even like i don't know just having a crush on somebody that's a decent amount older than me and that sounds so silly like i don't know i actually like do use the word crush because i feel like it like fits when i when i like like when i am interested in someone but it's like it's not that at the level that i'm like oh i really like you it's just like i i think you're cool and like i'm like interested but i realize i'm using the word crush to describe like a guy that's almost 30. <laughs> Anyway, I've been getting a lot of people's opinions on it, and my brother is the only person that's told me so far, like, um, I think that's too much of an age gap. And even my mom was like, no, like, it doesn't matter at all. And, like, my friends and stuff have been like, it doesn't matter at all. Like, I feel like you're, like, a mature person and stuff like that. I don't really know why I'm telling you guys this at 5 in the morning. Oh, Megan just got home. Good night. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.